to lead this army of mine. I will show you. Alright, welcome back everyone. It is always a pleasure to see you stopping by. Um, I'm get, just getting in here a fresh sesh and just kind of recapping, just taking a look at everything I've done. I fast traveled over to this tower. This is the general area I, I kind of left the last the last episode in. Uh, my, my forces are looking pretty nicely, pretty well rounded here. You know, we've got some dead corpses. I'm, uh, I'm controlling quite a few guys. This guy's carrying two bodyguards and some ferocious bodyguards at that. Uh, this guy likes to run solo. He was the first one I got in there. Grublik the Flogger. You know, maybe... I don't even know if I want him in there, to be perfectly honest. Maybe I should just try and replace him with someone else. I don't know. Uh, Push Crimp Dwarf Killer. He's running solo as well. Now, this man right here... Okay, now I've managed to infiltrate. The goal here is to get Zog the Smasher uh, well, into this man's uh, personal guard. And then what I want to do is try and get a betrayal going. So I'll have to find Zog and then kind of uh, initiate that and try... This I want to try and claim the War Chief position with a betrayal from one of his bodyguards. Uh, currently, I've got this guy, Logdash the Amputator. He's looking to take down Scoth the Lucky Shot. They're both ranged screwballs, so... <laughs> You know, it should be a pretty even battle. Well, probably not once Talion arrives on the scene. And that'll be the last bodyguard that this guy has working for him. And then Zog is free to move on in. Uh, but that's a little... That's going to be a couple of episodes off, I think, to get all that running. Currently, looking at the... Uh, well, let's go back to the army so I can get to the map. Uh, we are up here near this fishing village. Of course, um... What is this here now? Lamlug, okay, Lamlug the Messenger is the next war chief, but I don't want to actually trigger that just yet. What I would like to do, however, is this work for Lothario. There are also, there's also a slave mission up here, uh, a handful of challenges, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, is that the final sword challenge? And it looks like perhaps it is. There is still one more right there. Oh, maybe not. There's, it looks like there, there's going to be one more that needs to be unlocked uh, before I'm going to be able to get that sword completely reforged full blow and legendary status so but so yeah this is what I'd like to do work this northern village here and and start taking care of some business right here maybe grab a new uh, get another issue a death threat that's the other thing I'd like to do is issue a death threat to the man running things so oh there was one more thing I wanted to do bear with me people um that's not that's not what it was I do have enough to get another upgrade to my, my elf shot. Just barely. I could hold out for another, you know, another 110 and get the boost to health. I could hold out for another 600, roughly. Well, 510. And get the uh, Flame of Azkar. I don't know. I think with the Chained Shadow Strike, which I, have now, which I now have available, I think having more arrows is probably the right choice. So I'm going to go with that. Really draining... <laughs> Draining my supply of Miriam, my god. Alright, let's get into things. I think I may strap my way there. I'd like to get into a few battles. Get a little warm up going. Ah, screw the warm up. Well, if it comes my way, if these ones here kick up a bit of a stink, I'll, I'll deal with it. Oh, <laughs> you're done. Just brutal, as always. Nothing much changes in that in that department with this game. It 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 stays brutal, yes. But it's styling brutal, you know. It's not bloody gorgeous. Well, yes, it is bloody gorgeous for the sake of bloody gore. Clearly, it is. But there's definitely an element of of just style and finesse to it as well, you know. Really, really enjoy it. Whoa, you sir. You know what? I should I should have uh, mind melded with him. <laughs> Whatever you call it. Alright. Drained his ass. Branded his ass. Okay, let's do the execution since it's right there. And uh, I may try and uh, get this fella. Whoosh gold the bloody. <laughs> he is a little bloody, isn't he? Look at him. He's a bloody mess. Maybe get him and uh, try and control him and then issue a power threat. Or, uh, sorry, a, a death threat to, uh, to the, the current war chief in charge. 
up here. Who is he looking to take down? We tried to dock load. Time to scream. Is there another captain in the uh there on the executioner's block? It doesn't Oh there actually is. No there isn't. No there isn't. He's invulnerable to it, that's no good. That's no good at all. <laughs> I'm gonna work for Oh damn it! He broke my chain! I like them. I can tell you do, yes. Yes. Alright, I think I'd like to get a combat drain on one of these shield shieldmen. No, nope, wrong guy. Damn it. I wasn't even looking his way. Somehow it still gives it to me. Oh, damn, that was an explosion and a half. A little late there, Berserker boy. A little late, sir. Oh, so was I. Let's see if I can get, get a nice chain going here. I'd really like to. <laughs> we'll see if I can carry it for all of my arrows. Oh, we're just dis in and out, you know, disappearing into, it, into thin air. Just to reappear a second later. Carver man in half. Damn it. See, I knew I should have gotten a little warm up in. All right, I just need to slow things down to their pace, react to them. Getting a little ahead of myself. Happened. Continue to uh, work over the bloody one. Oh dang. Oh dang, he swings a heavy weapon, let me tell you. That took a, a, a quite a bit of effort to try and uh, just to deflect it, you know. You can't hurt me! Where are you going, sir? Fine, run away. Don't kill him now. Good. Good. I ain't gonna waste your time, sir. I ain't gonna waste it. I ain't gonna waste it. Come here. I've got a job for you, my friend. And uh, let's get the death threat rolling. All right, and it's going to Lemlog the Messenger. We'll get him up to, uh, I don't know, power level 20, I guess. I guess is what's going to happen here. He's got a gang now. Trying to judge if he... Okay, he's still trying to figure this out. <laughs> he's got some great mathematical equation. <laughs> I don't know, written out in blood and tears, yes, of, of, of many a slave, as he tries to work out whether he could actually outrun a, uh, a Graug if he had to, yes. Anyway, um, I guess I can get out of there for the time being. We'll send the bloody one, Wuzhgul, on his way. The execution's been resolved, and we can move on. Alright, I don't need to see the battle report in this instance. <laughs> Look at them all running off. I'll give him something to run from. <laughs> Love it. Oh, they're freaking out. They're freaking out. Alright. Well, you know what? I'm right here. I'm right here for the slave. I think I'll do the slave first. And then uh, try and work over that next mission. So these slaves are being tortured for trying to escape. Bring them freedom, and we'll look at it like this. Since uh, the next mission is supposed to involve Lethariel and the outcasts, we'll say that we're actually free and the soldiers that we're gonna put into we're gonna put into play, you know, that we're gonna use, that we're gonna ally with, uh, in the next main story mission, yes. We just we need to free them first. Okay. Rescue rescue the slaves. What's my bonus? Kill five works while they investigate your track position. Oh, it's like this. I don't, uh, well, I've kind of perfected it. I remember there was an actual challenge back in the other world space that had me doing this strictly that, that, uh, that attract and, 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 and dispatch, you know. Attract and kill. 
It's really not that difficult to just kind of run up behind a guy. Oh, look at this. Quite a bit here. Alright, quite a few in there. Doing what I can. I don't know why I can't get him. Oh, he's, he, he knows I'm there. So there was no stealth available. Ooh, odd. I don't know if I'm gonna get the bonus on this. I'm not feeling it. Maybe though, we'll see. Oh, and I'm gonna clearly I'm gonna have to disappear if I wanna be able to pull this off. I wonder if I could do the attract and, and take down from uh, from the shadow of Akar. You know, to go invisible first. Alright. We'll free up this one slave. Cut me down or kill me. <laughs> I don't care which. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, sir. Just relax. Go find Lethariel. She'll look after you. Alright. Is that just uh, intel? Just laying around? Or is that an actual soldier? No, it's just laying around. Okay, here we go. Somebody's here we go. Around. There is someone sneaking around. You'd better come and inspect and lop his head off, sir. If you can. But you clearly can't. Alright, there's one. You know, I would have really liked to have been able to... Uh, I don't know. Who, who should we pick? Who should we pick? Thumbs up. Let's grab... I don't know. Let's grab front row center. Snagog the long tooth. Oh, he is a toothy punk. Look at him. He could bite your head off, this fella. Clearly quite boorish and piggish looking. Frustrated with not being able to impress the black captain. Well, sir, if you would just grow that other tooth out evenly, I'm sure he'd be quite impressed with you. Alright, anyway, we'll leave him be for the time being. Is he marked as sneaky? I think that's what I saw. Which seems quite odd for him. Wait, help us. I'm working on it, sir. There's actually a... Uh... Oh, he's up, up. He's up top here. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! We've got a guy back in here. It's quite nice. I'm glad. I'm glad this guy came rolling on in here to inspect. Beautiful. It doesn't say that I have to stealth kill them either. I just have to get their attention. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear we you, sir. Help. I had to take care of the. Uh, you know, the rearward guard, the changing of the guard. Stranger. You're very welcome, sir. Okay, what am I gonna get here? Oh, I'm gonna get the fifth. Oh, oh, the Astari, the blues. Hmm. Well, it's there for y'all to pause and read if you feel so inclined. This is actually embedded in lore, so. And they both came in from the roads. And you can do the same for the. Uh, Um, for the for the uh, the audio log memory. I laughed at Dear Hyle when he talked of wizards, necromancers, and magic. I told him to stop being a child. As children, you are closest to the Eldar. When grown, you have no understanding of immortality. Oh, that was that was slick. That was slick. Let's see if I can disappear here. All right, what am I at? I'm at three for my bonus. <laughs> the one the one shieldman. He was he was freaking. Oh. They're getting swarmed by ghouls in there. Look at that mess. <laughs> I'm glad I backed out. I'm quite pleased, in fact. <laughs> Look at that shield, the shield brother. He's fallen. That defender is, is, he's going down. I have no doubt. Deal with a few of these suckers right here. Maybe help him out so I can try and... This is br one hell of a brutal swarm came rolling in here. Incredible. Terribly poisoned here. And <laughs> they all say golem when they spit as well. I don't know if y'all 
Y'all can discern that. All right, I need to backtrack. I don't like doing it like this. But uh, I'll be damned if I'm not getting my bonus. <laughs> All right, there we go. It's kind of—it's a bit of an exploit doing it like that. Whatever. The ghouls really threw me off, though. They come in there swarming. Is there an ex another exit out here? There is. So I should be able to leave and actually find myself a guard. An Uruk here somewhere. Yes, I'm well aware I'm leaving the mission area. And there we go. Okay. Got my bonus. And uh, we'll go and cut free this man. And then go and join Lothario for whatever's to come. We need help. Clearly. Clearly you do, sir. You've been, uh, you've been knotted to a pole <laughs> in a cave somewhere with ghouls roaming the ground. Clearly, you need help, yes. Anyway, there we go. Oh. Freedom at last. He's a broken man. If we kept trying, we'd get away someday. Don't worry about us, Ranger. I do worry, sir. I do. That's just the way it is for old Italian hearts. We do worry about, about you slaves, yes. Oh, stop it. Just die already, thank you. Okay, I've got a challenge right there. Oh, it's the sword challenge, too. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Get a little ahead of yourself here, sir. Maybe make a quick exit. <laughs> make a quick exit. Just get the hell out. Don't you even think about it, sir. Don't you even think about it. I had my chain going. I could have gotten it. You're denied. All right. Well, what am I going to do here? Ooh, there's a captain coming on in. Captain, sir. Gridewalker! Yes. Never suffer a pink skin to live. However long it takes. Zogdush <laughs> the dung collector. Hey. Okay. Pretty funny. Pretty nasty though. Pretty nasty. I will. I will try again. I'll try one more time. Just ask talk. I certainly don't want any sort of dung collector here in my army, sir. You will fall, yes. Is he invulnerable to the range? Oh, he's got some backup coming in here. He is. Alright, there we go. That's quite nice. Oh dang, he's really turned the uh, the tide here, hasn't he? Oh no! He better not have no chance on there. Okay. Alright. Get your shit together there, Talia. You really let that one get out of control, didn't you? Oh, <laughs> and you're getting stuck for it. He was, he was clearly enraged. Clearly. Don't piss off the Gravewalker, you know. Anyway, quick to anger. That was, that was the rune I got. And it seemed fitting, because he was. He was enraged when he finally went in for the, for the death blow. All right, the red tide. Well, let's start her up. I did want to get to Lothario, but that may have to go on hold until, until next episode. There is quite a bit to do up in this area. He went deep behind enemy lines to strike the docks at the Sea of Nurnan. The waters ran red with the blood of the defenders. Forge the legend. Of the sword or fiel. Bringing in 500 Miriam for this. Better get a sip of tea. Alright. Alright, I'm feeling good. Clear the docks of Uruk guards. And uh, melee kill. Melee execute two defenders. This really doesn't seem to be too much of a challenge. I'll do it this way. I'm not sure why I'm not. Uh, oh, it's it's a little posse. Okay. When I, w I was reading that wrong, you know, I saw the zero of five clear the docks of Uruk guards, and. Uh, it's actually a little posse that needs to be taken down that represents each one. Well, come on then. 
<laughs> he's all show, isn't he? Look at this fella. Throwing in the taunts. He's egging me on. He just—he's calling it in. He's got the sword flailing all over the place. And uh, and then he just dies. Yes. Then he just dies, showing his true prowess in battle. All right. What do we have down here? All right. I need to make sure I get these melee executes on the defenders. Melee execute. Now, what is that? Is that, that that's just an ex a, a finisher, isn't it? Combat finisher. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> One guy's trying out to strike for the knee. Alright, did I get the one defender? God, there it goes. Oh, beautiful. And they all just stood around and watched me do a man like that. Unbelievable. You people. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw you right into the ocean. Oh. It's because it's a sea. Oh, banging his head off the pole. <laughs> Get over there already. Thank you. He clearly couldn't swim. Saw himself falling into the into the murky choppy waters and uh died of a heart attack mid-flight. Yes, his heart simply exploded in fear. <laughs> Alright, I have to remember to try and get a, a combat drain in. Try and replace this. If given the opportunity. I need to get those arrows back. There we go. We'll get another one in for good measure. Oh, they killed him! You stupid punks. Die then. I don't need you. No, I don't want you in my army. Screwing up my objectives. Gotta get to that shield, brother. Oh, I lost my, uh... How did I lose that there? I could have sworn I had, uh... Yes, get out of my way, sir. Thank you very much. You served the purpose. And, uh, you got your walking paint. You got you got your walking papers at the end of my sword. Yes. I'm just kind of out here on a nice little stroll too. Come on. Oh, stop it. What are you going to do? Nothing. Cripes. Some people, I tell you. <laughs> all talk and no walk. Okay, I've got I've got all my objectives met at this point. Oh, Berserker country. Brain buzz did. Do that. We're gonna do that right there. And we're gonna follow it up with a little something over here. We're gonna chain back in this way for the completion. Game over. Leave the fishing village, yes. <laughs> Alright. Spectacular. What's happening up there? Really, sir? Let's go up and uh, replenish my arrows. A quick little drain here. And I'll tell you, I mean, look at that arrow count now. That takes a little bit of effort to actually resupply from empty, you know. Good thing I've got the extra, the extra coming in. <laughs> Done. Going above and beyond the Call of Duty here. Yeah. Above and beyond. All right, I'm leaving some artifacts back there and all that, but I, I mean, I'm not really making them top priority. I do like doing everything, but. I think sometimes I just need to say enough's enough. Stick with the core gameplay, you know. But uh, if I do, you know, if I walk right over a uh, an, an artifact, clearly, like right now, you know, there is uh, some sort of a Thilden right here in the area. Not sure where, though. Clean out your ears! Really not sure. Looks like it should be right there. Oh, you know where it is? It's up here. Right around the corner? No. Never want to go into battle without my cross battle. I'd rather just hack away at me enemies. Nice. 
We're just pummeling that guy. Okay, it must be down here then. Yeah, there it is. All right. I really want to complete this this image, this memory, or whatever the hell it is exactly. See what I get for it for all my trouble. But I don't know. I think I actually left a few back in uh, uh, like the Black Gate area. Okay, I got something here for the upgrades. No, it's not an ability point, so I don't know. Okay. All right. I still have to. Have I completed this? No, I need to leave the uh, the fishing village. There we go. Loving it. All right, do I have time? I don't really think I, I, I should start the next, uh, that mission with Lothario just yet. I could do this Vendetta, though. They're usually pretty quick. Quick and easy. I've got just enough time for it. And, uh, at times they will yield the, uh, that elusive epic rune. Yes. So here we go. Oh, we've got another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Nazu the Cruel. Avenge the death of Boyd Landon. <laughs> By killing Nazu the Cruel. He's only got the one kill. 15 power. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll track down the sucker. I'm on the hunt. Oh, he's back in the fishing village somewhere. Spectacular. Oh, maybe not. He's a cave dweller. Vulnerable to the stealth and fear of Graugs and Karagors. Oh, I can't do him in with uh, attacks or finishers. That's not good. That is not. He's got no chance on there. A fast runner. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna have to do is really do him in with the stealth. And shut this guy down. If I can get in there. Stealthily. And, uh, yeah, we'll play a little stealth game here. I didn't quite do the cave as well as I would have liked to have done when I was in here freeing slaves, you know? Clearly, I, I could have been much stealthy, but there was just that big swarm right at the start. Or not a major swarm, but enough guys that... The attract and kill, you know, method really wasn't going to work well there. I got somebody's attention with that. Here he comes. Full speed ahead. There we go. Alright. Hopefully he uh, moves in here to inspect where that shot came from. No, it looks like they're all flooding out to where the body, the body fell, which is fine by me. I don't mind this at all. Damn it! <laughs> oh, they're all dying. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, now how do I work this? I need to get in there without getting detected by the big man. Looks like he may be coming to inspect. Oh, he is. This is going to work out beautifully. If I can attract him right in, right on in here. Oh, there we go. We even get a nice little shot right here through the kegs, through the barrels. I'm going to wrap around this corner and stick him. A corpse. A corpse is Got him. He's finding bodies along the way. And you're done, sir. Beautiful work. Beautiful stealthy work there to wrap the up. And uh, you know what? They're really not yielding the, uh, the epic ruins at this point. I think I got lucky drawing that one out of there. And maybe a second one at one one other point. Anyway. At least I avenged uh, Boyd Landon. <laughs> That's actually not a bad choking whore. And you know what I have? What are you doing, sir? Leave, leave them good people alone, please. You better worry about the uh, the threat right in front of you, rather than the uh, the victims fleeing. Your your charge, your care. Yes, worry about the grave walk who stands between you and them. We're free. You are. Savor it, gentlemen. Savor your freedom. But never forget the name of Talion Hertz. Anyway, I think I. Uh, Oh, we got another Vendetta rolling on up. Anyway, uh, one thing I do want to check, that one ruin that did come in. Let's see here. What was it for? The dagger. The choking horror. I've got a level 13 in there. This one was a level 16. Much better. Oh, yes. So 
We'll get that in there. Let me go back in. We'll sell that up. Loving it. Got something in here for the sword. It was picked up. All right. Well, I can sell the uh, the lesser rune. All right. Okay, people. Always appreciate it when you're when you're stopping by, checking out my vids. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope it didn't disappoint. Uh, next up, I promise we will get to Lothariel and whatever whatever type of raid she wants to run on this fishing village. I got my bearings out here a little bit now, uh, so I hope you'll stop by and check that out. But until then, remember why it hurts. Later.